My name is Neil Manvar, and I will be showcasing the Sauce On Demand Jenkins plugin. This plugin will be helpful in your CI ventures by providing the ability to manage Sauce Connect tunnels, browser or device configurations, and embedded test results. The first step to leveraging this plugin is to write some Selenium or Appium tests. I have written two test cases. The first goes to saucelabs.com and verifies the title is as expected. The second test case goes to saucelabs.com, clicks on the free trial button, and verifies the signup form is present. The second step is to output the session ID and job name to standard out. This is done in the env.rb file, right here. The third step is to install the Sauce On Demand Jenkins plugin. You can do that by clicking Manage Jenkins, then clicking Manage Plugins, then clicking Available, searching for Sauce On Demand, selecting the plugin, then clicking Install. Once the plugin is installed, the next step is to configure a Jenkins job and run it. This is done by clicking New Item, specifying a name, clicking Freestyle Project, then clicking OK. Clone my repository where all my tests reside, then scroll down and click Sauce Labs Support, which will enable the Sauce Labs On Demand plugin capabilities. Next, I'm going to check the Enable Sauce Connect box to enable the Sauce Connect tunnel when the test suite starts. Then, I'm going to specify some browser OS combinations. Then specify Sauce credentials. Then specify how to run your tests. Lastly, add a post build action to publish a JUnit test result report. Specify the path to the test report XMLs and then add embed Sauce Labs reports as an additional test report features. And click Save. Now we're all set to run. Sauce Connect will be initiated at the beginning of the job. Then the test will run. Once the job is finished, you can view the embedded Sauce results on the Jenkins dashboard and job pages. The tests that have run in the build are now mapped to its Sauce job all inside of Jenkins. You can see exactly what you would see on Sauce from within Jenkins, such as the Selenium commands, the screencast, and the Selenium log and metadata. This makes debugging test failures and figuring out what went wrong simple. For more information about how to get and use the Sauce Jenkins plugin, visit these URLs.